Cancer, welcome to Mystic Marie 92. We are here to get into the energy for you. Let's see what's happening for Cancer into placement. We got a future. They see this relationship for the long term. It's looking like you're the one, Cancer. Taurus got that energy. You the one that I be about all day. For Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? I think that's Rihanna's song. She a Pisces. Spontaneous, headed towards you. Somebody popping up on you, Cancer. Or you doing a popping up. Someone wants to shoot their shot. He been watching you online or you been watching someone online. Okay, he don't know what to text or say, but it's about to be real random. Some of you, this could be an old fling. What next? For Cancer, what's the tea? Some of you are ready to do something fun. You're getting bored. We got overindulgence. Maybe you're doing too much. We're doing something way too much. Overindulgence. Someone keeps popping up. It's giving stalker and obsessed, but we're going to see. But Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? What's the T? Renew. That's because they want to start off. I'm telling you, Impact trying to make a positive impression on you, but there's a hammer going to a light bulb. It's like, how you trying to help, but you about to destroy so this could be somebody with ill intentions, child. For some of you, someone wants to do right by you. They're doing everything they can. A little bit too much here to try to be in your good graces. Or oh, this you, Cancer. Don't do too much. Cut the deck on the devil. I feel it. Toxicity. Someone could have some addiction. Some of you, there's some fear here. Capricorn energy with that devil. Some of you, this is a toxic karmic partner. You're going to fight your energy. Or you're the toxic karmic partner. We're going to see. Some of you, this could also be some kind of a toxic workplace environment as well. Friendship group. Okay. Drug dealing. Okay. With this guy with this phone. Okay. We're going to see. Spontaneous for cancer is a nine of swords. Let's get another. Gemini energy. Stress, worry, anxiety, insomnia. Two of swords. Stalemate. Spirit say no. Whoever this is. Spirit say say no to the toxicity. No to the drugs. If this is X, they keep popping back up. Or no to the actual drugs. Okay. If some of you drug dealing or receiving them. Let me say out your business. Anyways. Heavy air. A lot of mind going on here. So someone could be impulsive with spontaneous coming out here with two cards of mind. Nine of swords is Gemini. Two of swords is Libra. All right. Hmm. So someone's uh, mental state, when they get into a funk, they just shut down. Okay, someone could be coming towards you to create some kind of blockages and you're going to regret it. Now, nah, so it's stalemates. You're on the right track with that horse of action here, but then here comes some kind of blockage, avoidance, reluctance. This person could have blocked you. You could have blocked this person. Okay, they regret how they handled you. They miss you. They have no more access to you. So they're going to pop up because you blocked them for some of them, for some of you. Some of y'all shit. Overindulgence for cancer. Child. Amber. Okay. Falling over here. Ace of Swords. So I said what needs to be said. Someone keeps trying to reinsert themselves in your life. Or they're trying to communicate with you. They keep calling, they keep texting. Someone's a bugaboo. Okay, someone's on drugs as well. That's the blockage. They shut down when they get into this funk or mental state. This could be psychedelics. This could be drugs, child. But <laughs> Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what is there? Forgive me, y'all. I'm like bewildered while I'm trying to read. Overindulgence for cancer. Seven of wands need to stand your ground. Block this person out your energy, child. Whoever keeps sending you spiritual warfare, I keep backfiring. They keep trying to project it to your dream state and interfere while you sleeping. Try to block your psyche. They do this at random. They never know when you sleep or when you away from my deeply spiritual folk. Yes, child. Who this is? It's a warlock for some of you. For some of you, it's an ex or an old fling that keep popping up for sex. That's all it is. You need boundaries or you're this ex or old fling that keeps popping up in someone's life for sex. They need boundaries against your ass. For some of you, there's some kind of... Oh, Lord. Forgive me for my regular people. Hold up. There's a King of Wands partner with a Queen of Pentacles. They are warlock and witch energy, creating some kind of hostilities over someone's life. They're trying to destroy someone's foundation. Yeah, they're not even together. Okay, because one of them is scorned and burdened without the person that they are missing. Five of Wands is chaos. Five of Pentacles is remorse re regret. Ten of Wands is burden. Star, they could be projecting and trying to hex or curse a star. Someone in the public eye. 
anyways, because I'm about to get irritated. I felt this toxicity. Okay, some of you need to stand your ground, learn how to protect yourself, say no to toxic people, friends, family, co-workers, whoever. Protect your motherfucking peace. Or someone needs to protect their peace against you. Yeah, I'm feeling it. And then some of you, again, you block somebody they want back in your life. Whether or not they have good intentions, that's up for you to decide. You know how toxic they were when, you, when they were in your life. Or you know if they were healthy or not and someone toxic came and ruined it. That's also a scenario. Renew. I'm telling you, someone wants back in. Or for some of you, after you finally get away from this is, you're going to get a renewal overall. In general, away from whatever that was or is. Let's see. Renew is the Knight of Pentacles. Let's get another because I don't know which way that was. Working on self or procrastination. Inconsistent or being consistent. The partnership is a soul contract. Three is a cry for some of you. Or there's a soul contract coming in that will be very fulfilling. A solid offer is going to gradually progress into something solid because they're working on themselves or this couple. It says early stages of union. Two people are coming together because they're meant to do that and they're going to work on life and do life together. It's a spiritual connection. But someone behind the scenes could definitely be trying to get in the mix spiritually with the high priestess. It's from their past six of cups, Scorpio energy. Someone wants back into someone's life, but they've already moved on. Or this is you. For some of you, there's somebody cheating and sneaking around with a mistress, but the person that they was sneaking around, the person that was getting cheated on found out and they're doing the spell work. Child, what? And for others of you, if it's not spell work, it's some kind of hexing and cursing and creating conflict. I mean, if it's if it's not the hexing and cursing, it's tires being slashed, popping up, being just belligerent and just weird and chaotic. Yeah, this energy is crazy. What's impact? I'm trying to make a positive impression on you for cancer. Mm -mm. This definitely ain't going to be everybody to read. Four cups. For some of you, because you rejected them, they want to do right by you. They want more, okay? For some of you, you're trying to figure out how to get back into someone's good grace. So you're going above and beyond. Someone rejected you and you want to make them want you. Do not do that. Do not try to make someone want you. If they rejected you, keep it pushing. See rejection as your protection. Now, for some of you, there's some kind of stalker in as you mesmerize, can't stop staring at you, but you rejected them and they keep trying to figure out how to get you to want them. Well, this is how you feel. Eight of Swords, someone's mentally unstable, someone feels restricted, tied up, or this is how you feel. Someone's getting out of jail as well. They feel like they're not good enough, but they're trying everything in their power to be good enough, to feel good enough. But some of you, you or your person, let someone go. And this, this part is getting redundant. Whoever the person is that is scoring and kicked out of the mix, wants back in by spell work, by chaos, by conflict, or they're trying to seduce okay and get back in this person's life or yours